Amen. All right, let me just begin because of our time. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I'm going to start with the, um, the basic foundation of the prophetic. Number one, I'm, I'm starting with definitions. What are the definitions of what the prophetic is about? Number one, please ensure you have a jotter and a pen so that you can take notes. Okay. Number one, the prophetic is a realm. Hallelujah. Is a realm where the speakings, the realities, the possibilities and the expression of God is pronounced. The prophetic is a realm, is a, is a realm, is a field where the, the speakings, the possibilities, the realities and the expression of God is pronounced. Hallelujah. So the prophetic is, a, is, a, is, a, is an environment where the speakings of God, the realities of God, the expressions of God, the influence of God, you know, is pronounced. Hallelujah. So that's the first definition of the prophetic. The next one, the prophetic is a cloud space. Mm. It's an environment that hosts all the things, or let me say the things that God has to offer mankind. The prophetic is a space. It's a space where the things that God has to offer, you know, mankind, you know, can be accessed. Hallelujah. You know, it's a place where you, the realities of God, the things that God wants to give unto mankind is hosted from. Amen. So that's the two definition. I'm going to go to the next one. Uh, the prophetic is a is an open and enclosed platform. Please listen to this. The prophetic is an open and enclosed platform for spirits, depending on your level of access and ranks. I'm going to come again. The prophetic is an open and enclosed platform, depending on levels of access and ranks. So that means the prophetic is both open and enclosed. It depends on where you are in the prophetic. So it's a, it's a platform that is open to spirits, depending on the level of access and ranks. Okay, it's an open and enclosed platform. It's an open and enclosed space that is open to all spirits. As long as you are a spirit, you can function in the prophetic. And that it depends on the level of access and ranks. So let's go to the next one. The prophetic is a classified institution that contains the intentions of God for mankind. Is a classified institution, meaning that there are secrets, there are, you know, a coded um, body of knowledge in the in the prophetic, the prophetic um, association, a prophetic organization, a prophetic environment, a prophetic institution that contains the secrets of God for mankind. Are we together? So let's go to the next one. The Lord is doing something great today. The prophetic is a realm that precedes time, space, matters, and realms. I'm going to come again. The prophetic is a platform. The prophetic is a realm that precedes time, space, matter, and realms. The prophetic is also a platform that controls time, space, matter, realities, and, and other realms. So in the prophetic, you can influence time. Labraco, Shata, Labarandes is a village. In the prophetic, you can influence time. You can manipulate time. You can do and undo, depending on your level of authority and the knowledge of the realm. So in the prophetic, you can have access to what is going to happen before time, what has happened after time. So listen to this. The prophetic is like a block of time. The past, present, and the future is in the prophetic. Please pay attention. The past, present, and the future is in the prophetic. So that is why if you operate from the prophetic, you have advantage over time. You have an advantage over life and reality. So you can see the past in the prophetic, even to the creation of the world, depending on your degree of light and access. Mm. In the prophetic, you can see past, present, and future. Everything is within a frame of reference, depending on your level of access. Amen. I can know your past in the prophetic. I can know your future in the prophetic. I can know your present in the prophetic. Now let's go. The prophetic, I hope you are listening and I hope you are taking notes. Uh, the prophetic is a plane of higher intelligence perception view knowledge and secrets so the prophetic is a plane of higher intelligence superior intelligence the prophetic is a place where you have superior knowledge superior view for instance if i'm looking at you i see your figure i see your face i see everything about you but then there is there is much more than that i have to use an instrument or an equipment to see beyond for instance if I use x-ray, I can see your internal organs. But with my physical eyes, I cannot see your physical organs. With my physical eyes, I cannot see your physical organ. 
I need an x-ray. If I want to know what is going on with your blood, I need, you know, a microscope. So under a microscope, I can see what is going on within your cells, within your system and all those things. So in the prophetic, you have deeper knowledge, you have deeper perception, you have deeper view of everything. Hallelujah. I hope you are paying attention. In the prophetic, you have deeper revelation of things. It's a realm of superior intelligence. Hallelujah. And the last definition I'm going to give, praise the Lord. The last definition I'm going to give, the prophetic is a realm that can be accessed, influenced, manipulated to a large extent. Okay. So that means that realities in the prophetic can be manipulated. Yes. You know, in the Nigerian election, some people are saying that somebody rigged the election. You can rig things in the realm of the spirit, in the prophetic right if the intention of god is that this person is going to be a doctor the, it can be manipulated if the, the intention is that somebody's meant to die tomorrow it can be changed you can administer life and death in the prophetic you can change situation depending on your level of access and authority so the prophetic is very open it's just like you know um it's just like the internet the kind of knowledge you have determines your control for instance your social media profiles and all those things you have access but an hacker can hack your account and can manipulate what is going on in your in your account or in your space mm -hmm. so it is very possible to hack the prophetic to change the prophetic so if you are a, um if you are a software engineer or you are you are, you are a programmer you can manipulate the internet you can access people's accounts without their permission that is why in the prophetic you can hack into people's souls and spirit and space their word you can influence people's dreams. You can manipulate people's future. You can attack without their permission. Hey, my man, I'm Bradia Satada. These are the possibilities in the prophetic. I'm going to do a quick recap before we make progress. Our time is fast spent, but then I'm, I said the prophetic is a realm where the speakings, the realities, the possibilities, the expression of God is pronounced. Second definition, the prophetic is a cloud space that hosts the things that God has to offer mankind. The prophetic is, a, is an open and a closed platform for spirits depending on your level of access and ranks. The prophetic is a classified institution that contains the intention of God for mankind. Number five, the prophetic is a realm that precedes time, space, matter, realms, and reality. So you can have an advantage over life. You operate the prophetic. You can control, manipulate time, space, mat materials, whatever in the prophetic. Okay. And um, the prophetic is a plane of higher intelligence, higher view, higher perception, higher knowledge and secrets. And at the last one, the prophetic is a realm that can be accessed, influenced, controlled to a large extent. Okay. And of course, in the prophetic, God has the sovereign rule. God has the sovereign power. So um, whatever it is that spirits and man can do, God can manipulate or override. Okay. So as much as the interest and the... Um, the uh, input of man is highly recognized and effective in the prophetic. God still has the final say. God can override anything in the prophetic. He has a sovereign rule. But to a large extent, extent the prophetic is very open to spirit and men. You know, man is a spirit anyways. What I'm talking of spirit, I'm talking of angels, demons, principalities, and all those things. So the prophetic is very, very open. It depends on your level of, you know, access and authority. So now let me tell you the channels of the prophetic the channels of the prophetic so um, i'm gonna say six things about the channels of the prophetic are um the things that revolves around the prophetic and i'm going to show you in a in a brief moment number one the word of god the word of god um through the, the bible or through any other means let me just stick with the bible the written word of god so you can access prophetic insight prophetic revelation prophetic you can actually um interpret the prophetic you can see the prophetic you can know about the prophetic through the word of God. Amen. So Bible says that um, the entrance of your word giveth light and understanding to the simple. That is the book of uh, Psalm 119 verse 130. So the first channel in the prophetic or the first channel of God's communication of God's expression in the prophetic is the word of God. The written word of God, the logos, the rema, anyone. Um, if you have access to the word of God, you are largely functioning in the prophetic. Okay, the word of God governs the prophetic. The word of God has tremendous influence and impact in the prophetic. As a matter of fact, the prophetic is a, is a field of transaction of the word of God. So, in the prophetic, we transact with words, we, we transact with laws, constitution. So, if you are grounded in the word of God, if you are established in the word of God, 
you will largely function as the prophetic. So the, the, the first channel of the prophetic is the word of God. I hope you are following. The next one, you can access the prophetic through the Holy Spirit, through the Spirit of God. Now listen, in the prophetic, you need an, you need somebody to host you, okay? It's just like, um, for me to access the internet, for me to access certain um, platforms on the internet, I need somebody to host me. It can be, you, your, your access to Facebook is Facebook. Um, your, if you want to access certain emails, you need, um, is it a Yahoo mail? You can, you can use Yahoo mail or Gmail to access mails. So they are hosted into the email world, into the electronic mail world. So if you want to access your mail, you can either use Yahoo mail, email, and other email platforms, right? Other host, all right? So to access the prophetic, you need somebody to host you. So the biggest and the legal host of the prophetic is the Holy Spirit. You can access the prophetic through demons. You can access the prophetic through other strange spirits. But the major and the biggest access into the prophetic is the Holy Ghost and it's the legal access. They are illegal, you know, hosts that can host you into the prophetic, you know, and you can deal with, that's why witches, wizards, necromancers, spiritists, they also have access into the prophetic. But then the legal host into the prophetic is the Holy Spirit. So you can access um, the prophetic through the intimacy with the Holy Ghost, your personal relationship with the Holy Ghost, your knowledge of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says that, and, uh, you know, in the book of 2 Corinthians 13, 14, that the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever more so it's very possible to um access the prophetic through the host of the holy ghost the holy ghost is a very strong host it can give you unlimited access you know even into the prophetic if you are getting blessed say amen amen thank you jesus hallelujah all right the next channel of the prophetic is the gift of the spirit now listen there is a difference between the personality of the holy ghost and the gift of the holy spirit the holy spirit is a person the holy spirit as a person can get, grant you access to the prophetic i said the, the word of god is the first channel into the prophetic and the, the second channel is the spirit of god and the third channel into the prophetic is the gift of the spirit so i'm going to say that the person of the holy ghost is the holy ghost himself the gift of the spirit are certain softwares that we enable you to access the prophetic so let me let me come again like for instance, the Holy Ghost is like MTN. MTN is your highest speed. To engage the internet for your phone to be functional for your body, which is your spirit. Let's, let's assume your body is your your body is your phone. The Holy Ghost is like MTN. And um, the gift of the spirit are certain softwares on your phone that enables you to access certain website or certain applications. So let me let me let me do it in this regard. Mm. The Holy Ghost is like MTN, the gift of the Spirit are certain softwares. For instance, your WhatsApp, your Twitter, your Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, and other applications are like um, the gift of the Spirit. Why MTN is like the Holy Spirit. So you, without MTN, you can't access, or without um, ISP, you can't access some of these things, okay? I'm trying to differentiate between the person of the Holy Ghost and the gift of the Spirit. I hope it is clear. So the gift of the spirit, word of knowledge, word of wisdom, the standing spirit, and some other gifts like that will grant you access to the prophecy. So listen, so as a human being or as a believer, your relationship with the Holy Ghost can grant you access to the prophetic. But when you have the gift of the spirit, certain softwares, you have more information. You have edge. For instance, having the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost can communicate to you through text messages. But when you have WhatsApp, um, Facebook, you know, you can have access to more information, more videos, more images. So the gift of the spirit, let's say word of knowledge is like Facebook. Word of wisdom is like your email. Um, let's say the signing of spirits is like um, TikTok. So some other things like that. That is how the gift of the spirit has. The gift of the spirit are softwares hosted by the Holy Ghost that grant us op um, opportunity and access into the prophetic. Do you understand? I'm going to come again. The channels of the prophetic, the word of God the Holy Spirit and the software of the Spirit, the gift of the Spirit, that's number three. Number four, creation. The things around you can grant you access into the things of the Spirit. I'm going to say creation are one of the channels um, to, to the prophetic, meaning matters. You know, your sound, 
you know, wind, rain, water, every of these things, even the event around you, events around you can grant you puzzles, signs, you know, um, access and knowledge of the prophetic. Let me read it in the scripture, Romans chapter 1, verse 20. Romans chapter 1, verse 20. The Bible says, For the invisible things of him from creation of the world, meaning God, the invisible things of God from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made. So the things that are made can communicate the invisible things of God. The knowledge of God, the wisdom of God, the power of God can be made clear, can be understood by the things that are made. So you can begin to understand God when you probably have the revelation of the water, of the wind, of the soil, of vegetation, of animals, of the constellations, of the universe, of the planets. Some of these things reveals the knowledge of God. Some of these things reveal the power of God. And, and Bible said that even his eternal power and Godhead. So if we begin to study creation closely, we begin to understand the eternal power of God, the Godhead, so that we are without excuse. So creation, the things around us, communicates the prophetic. It reveals the knowledge of God. So the word of God communicates their channels of the prophetic, the spirit of God, the gifts of the spirit and creation, signs, wonders, you know, events, puzzles, matter, creation, elements. These are the things that reveals the knowledge of God or the things that are expressed um, the prophetic or the things that revolves around the prophetic or the channels of the prophetic anyhow you want to pull it okay um the, the the next channel of the prophetic is offices and administration okay so um authorities and prophets apostles men of god and some other individuals you know they, they if you have an office in the prophetic you know you will have access to the prophetic and there are channels through which you can um operate in the prophetic so if you are if you are high ranking in the prophetic there is there is a way god speaks to such persons there is a way those persons decipher information in the prophetic for instance i know by the spirit of god that i have an office in the prophetic so i won't just have you know the general information there are certain secret things that the lord gives to me as a person <clears throat> because i i am part of god's administration so the offices and the administration of God is open to certain individuals and it is one of the channels of the prophetic. The Bible says that God will not do anything until he reveals it to his servant, the prophet. So there are some things that God speaks to people generally and there are certain things, there are some prophetic information that God speaks through offices, through the prophetic, through the office of the prophet. Let me put it in that way. Through the office of the prophet, through offices and um, through administration, you can access the prophetic. Amen. You can access the property through, um, you know, offices and administration. The last one, channels of the prophetic is special encounters. So you can access the prophetic through special encounters. This is open to anyone. Any individual can access the prophetic in this regard. You know, angels can visit you. You can just see an open vision. You know, anybody can have open encounter into the prophetic. So it can even be expressed through dreams. It can even be expressed through dreams hallelujah so um now the the, the the last question i'm going to ask um is the prophetic for everybody the answer is yes but not everybody gets to function in the prophetic because of certain conditions for instance number one to function in the prophetic effectively you need you need somebody to host you um you need a lot of things so let me let, let us just check you know to operate in the, pro, to, the prophetic what are the things that you would need you need the host somebody to host you the holy ghost the spirit of jesus you might need some demons some principalities but for believers um our host is the holy ghost and he has the legal ground to to operate so we have the legality to operate in the prophetic through the holy ghost the next one is that you need your organs of interaction to be sharp okay the, the, your sight your ear and your perception and the spirit must be alive for you to operate in the holy ghost effectively amen then the next thing you need exposure and education of the realm to be effective. This is a problem. Many people see things in the prophetic, they hear, they kind of have, you know, you know information, but then they, they don't function in the prophetic effectively because they don't have the education of the realm. If you don't have education of the prophetic, you will struggle a lot. You will struggle a lot in the prophetic. So it's very important that um, you get the education of the prophetic. You are grounded by the word of God. For instance, we were in a meeting, a 12 hours prayer meeting, and um, a sister um, illustrated something. He was saying that he saw that we were dragons. 
and some other things. So the way he said the vision, I knew she was she was wrong because based on the knowledge of God's word and my education in the prophetic, a believer cannot be expressed in that regard. So I, I was like, no, this is this is off. So sometimes if you don't get the education of the prophetic, you you will be limited in, in your oppression because this education of the prophetic will help your interpretation. The education of the prophetic will help your the, the way you understand things, the way you perceive things. The education even um, speaks of your rank, okay? Your knowledge of the realm, your, your, the technical knowledge of the prophetic. So to operate in the prophetic, you need somebody to host you. To operate in the prophetic, you need your organs of interaction to be very sharp, okay? Um, and of course, you need proper education and exposure. So um, by the grace of God, tomorrow we are going to be dealing on um, another subject. Is going to be intense you know today is just about the foundational um knowledge of the prophetic we've discussed the, the meaning of the prophetic the channels of the prophetic and what it takes to operate in the prophetic so tomorrow we are going to be talking on the entities in the prophetic we are going to be talking on the interest of the prophetic how to grow big in the prophetic what controls the prophetic the goal of the prophetic and some other things so tomorrow is loaded and packed and we are going to carry us along with the things that um we are going to be doing tomorrow but today is just a foundational class about the prophetic and um, these are the things that God wants us to know it's going to be for seven days at least 30 minutes to 40 minutes every day so that we can have um, something short comprehensive okay tomorrow is going to be intense so today we've done how to operate in the prophetic the channels of the prophetic we had six channels of the prophetic the word of God the spirit of God the gift of the spirit creation the offices and the administration we have um, special encounters to, to be, you know, effective in the prophetic. You need the host, you need your organs of interaction to be sharp. And to sharpen your organs, you have to pray long in the Holy Ghost. Then the, the third one, education of the realm. Studying the word of God, following prophets and prophetic people, you learn and you grow and you become exposed to the prophetic. Because as you exercise yourself in the prophetic, you grow in education. And as you grow in its education, you become effective and you become empowered. All right. So um, thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Don't worry. We are going to have, we are going to dedicate a day to question and answer. So, so as you are learning this, thing, it might sound like an academic um, teaching, but God is doing something through this. God is doing something through this. Amen. I hope you get that something. We are going to try to make this available on YouTube so that you can fall back on this. Amen. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Tomorrow, 8 o'clock, we are going to be here. I will be here on, you know, the things that God is going to be doing. Tomorrow is loaded. It's power packed. Amen. Thank you so much. I will meet you tomorrow. Thank you. God bless you. Till we meet again, keep functioning in the prophetic. Bless you.